so today we are doing problem practice on the gravitation chapter so as you can see we are we have already started and here are the first two questions i have taken it from a well known source which you will find out if you do enough problem practice anyway since you haven't done it you will not be able to know right now so start solving it you have 4 minutes to complete these two questions no one done 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 So, the first answer is B. B. B for Bombay. Yeah. And second one, second one is C. C. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Correct. All of you understood? Or should I discuss? Yes. Sir. I'll quickly discuss. Equation of moon with respect to Earth is given, right? So the force between Earth and moon will be. Equation of moon is given. Which is what V square by R only centripetal acceleration, okay? So suppose this is Earth and that is Moon, so its acceleration V square by R is given. So the force between Earth and Moon is mass of Moon into acceleration. Simple, right? Mass of acceleration is force. Acceleration is that much. So mass of Moon into acceleration is the force. now if it stops revolving then what will be the initial acceleration towards the earth so this was balancing this 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 was balanced by the gravitational force now if velocity is becoming zero the gravitational force will still be this much only in magnitude okay this will be equal to mass of moon time the acceleration of moon when it is coming towards initially when it was revolving around the acceleration was because of the circular motion now when it stops the acceleration will be because of its movement towards the earth okay either it will have centripetal acceleration from the same force or it will start moving towards the earth same force will be same so that is why acceleration in magnitude is same acceleration of the moon just before it strikes the earth how much 6.4 Why? So you, you can G can equate yeah. R. Yeah. So the G when when it hits the total distance will be R, R plus R by four. Okay. So the radius of the moon is it given? Yeah. It's R by one fourth. R. Where it is written? Oh, one fourth of the Earth radius. So this is the Earth, and stop talking. This is the moon. Moon's radius is R by four. So, how much is the force on the moon right now? Mass times g effective. Okay, and g effective for the center of mass of the moon is g naught one minus two h by r. So two. Wait, wait. I was coming to that only. Okay. So 2h by r, if you use, you get g naught by 2. Okay, but then this is an approximate formula, isn't it? The exact formula is how much? G naught divided by 1 plus h by r whole square. So this is this is the g. So here you put h is equal to r by 4 to get the exact g naught. So here, so here if you put what you get g as g naught by 16 by 25 g, and here if you put this, what you're getting it as g naught by 2, right? So there's a there's a big difference. So you can use this because the height h is not very less compared to the radius of the Earth. Okay. Simple question. Okay. We go to the next one. Okay. What is the answer for this one? C. C. <coughs> Suppose the acceleration due to gravity at the Earth's surface is this, and the surface of Mars it is four. Okay, why it is C? Anyone? There has to be some point where the net gravitational force of attraction will become zero. There should be, and there should be only one point. So it can't intersect at two points. Okay. It can't go negative. It can't go negative. 
Yeah, when it's See, negative is like which direction you take positive or negative. So it can you can say negative also, but definitely it can't have two points. Two points. So Third. then it also shouldn't change sign during its travel, right? <coughs> which should not change the sign, as in? No, here the weight they are assuming it to be a magnitude of it. Okay, but. They can assume the width sign also. That's what I'm saying that it can be negative also, assuming what you're treating positive negative. But definitely it can't have two points having zero gravity. And first one? D. D for donkey. Yes. How will you do the first one? Explain who or D? Bata. So, so you calculate the force on Earth. Uh, you get your knowledge G M E M by R E square. Then you uh, calculate the force on that other planet, writing stuff in terms of writing like the mass and the radius in terms of the Earth's quantities. So mass is twice. How how are you? I'm, I I didn't get you. Okay, so so Do it properly. G M E M by R. Oh, so what is this? G M E M by R is uh, what is this? The force on Earth. The force on Earth. Yes. Okay, then. Then uh, uh, force on the other planet is. Let him only speak. Is G into two M E. Two M E. Into M. Uh. By. So if you do 4 by 3 pi r square, you get the radius as um, radius into... If I do 4 by 3 pi r square? If you use volume and density to calculate the mass of the second planet... Okay, sorry, the 2 times the mass right? of this should be equal to... Density is how much? Is equal to the density of Earth, rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube, which we don't know. Yes, sir. Okay. And mass of Earth is rho into 4 by 3 pi radius of Earth cube. Okay, so you can divide it, and yes, this is what you get. R is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 by 3 times radius of Earth. This is what you got, yes. right? So substitute it here, you'll get 2 raised to the power 2 by 3, stop talking, R e square, right? Yes, sir. So is that what they are asking? Huh. So 2 divided by yeah. 2 raised to power 2 by 3 is 2 raised to power 1 by 3. So this is D. Okay, so you can see that this is that much times of that. Clear? Straight forward. This one? MGR by 2. MGR by 2. Yeah. Others? Yeah. 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 How you solve this? Work done, change potential. Work done is equal to change in mechanical energy. Kinetic energy doesn't change. Initial kinetic energy is zero, final kinetic energy is also zero. Slowly you are bringing it there. Okay? So work done is equal to final potential energy minus initial potential energy. And how much is the final potential energy equal to? U2 equal to? Minus G mm by? 2R. Earth surface is lifted up by R, so from center it is 2R. So U1 is minus G M M by R. So you get G M M by R. This is equal to your work done. Sorry, 2R. And G M by R square is small g. So this is equal to half M G R. Okay, <coughs> so problems like these come in J mains. Okay, done. Yes. Sir. Both. No, no, no. This is smart. We haven't done the second one. Do both questions. You will be zero inside the shaft, right? Potential. Answer for the. The first one? C. And for second one? C. I think second one is straightforward. Yeah. B is correct, A is wrong. The plot of V against R is 
actually continuous. It remains constant till the radius and then it drops. So it's a continuous graph. Whereas the field is zero and suddenly it picks up and then it goes down. Okay? So C for this. And here it is work work ready theorem simply. So work done is U2 plus K2. So K2 is equal to half M 1 into 2 square. Stop talking. So from infinity, right? So U1 is 0 and K1 is 0 and W is minus 3. So U2 is minus 5. So potential is minus 5, potential energy is mass into potential. So mass is 1, so potential is equal to potential energy in magnitude. Okay, go to the next one. So it is independent of mass. How will you derive it? You first gravitation. Mv square by R is equal to G M1 M2 by R square. So from there you get velocity and 2 pi R divided by velocity is the time period. So when you do all that, you will see that mass of satellite disappears. It is independent of that. Okay. Have you seen the gravity movie? Yeah. yeah. Debris was flowing in the same radius irrespective of their mass. So it, after some time period again and again comes back to the same mass. So, but what I didn't understand is the, the debris was moving faster than the, than yeah. than the satellite. No, no, no. Actually, the thing is that speed will be the same. You are moving like this, they are coming like that. Oh, so it can't catch. The speed is same. Velocities are in opposite directions. But if you are there, you can't change the direction of your own velocity. You can't apply force on yourself. These two. A and B, right? Yeah, A and B. A and B. No, B. The first one is B. So it can't be. U is negative, it can't be. So U is always negative. U is negative. Yeah, if it's magnitude, then it's B. But if it's. It is written magnitude. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's my U is B. You didn't take magnitude? No. I so. See, in J, in exam like J, they want you to make errors. So they they will do every such thing possible so that you make silly errors. It is not a game of uh, knowing a lot of concept. J means is about not making silly errors. Simple. J means is about not making silly errors. Advance is about knowing concept to the depth. Okay, so you can't just do silly errors and laugh about it. You just gone behind twelve thousand ranks if you get this wrong. Okay, it will hit you badly. This one. Both are B. Huh? Both are B. Both are B. Yeah. Yes, it is also B. A anyone who did not get this? It is Kepler's law of areas. So equal areas will be swept in equal time. So that is why. Okay. See, many, see, almost every time we assume that whenever it is not given, we will assume that planets are moving in a circular path. If it is elliptical, it will be mentioned separately like this. Okay, then you have to apply Kepler's law. These two. No, 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 it's C and A. C and A. Because it's moving in a radius, so normal force is zero. Normal spring balance is a normal sensing thing. But it's, it's C and A. Logic may or may not be correct. So because like the, the spring has no force acting on it. Spring guys, man. It's a spring balance. The spring has no force on it. Where it is? Oh, second one, I was looking at the third one. First one, sorry. So answer is C, 
and A. So basically, if you are revolving around the planet, okay, then you will feel the weightlessness. The reason for that is that whatever is the force acting on you, this direction, on your frame, suppose you are standing inside the satellite, with respect to you, a pseudo force will be acting on you, which is mv square by r, and there will be g m1 m2 by r square. Both will be equal always. Doesn't matter what you do. So, if you sit in a chair, you will not be able to generate an extra force, extra normal force to feel your own weight. What you feel is a normal force, what humans are designed to feel only the force. Humans are not designed to feel anything else. Okay? You are designed to feel change in velocity which is acceleration, but you can't feel the absolute velocity. Okay? And similarly you can't feel the anything else other than force. So there is no force which you are feeling, so you will feel weightless. Because whatever is the force applied by gravity is balanced by this. Anyways, this one, a body is suspended from a spring balance, the regretting of balance is W1, when the satellite goes in orbit of radius R, W2. So weightless, both, both are weightlessness, so W1 will be equal to W2, it doesn't matter actually. Whatever the radius of revolutions, it is weightless, spring can't apply any force. Okay. Spring balance, the weight is Kx. Whatever the force spring applies, that is what the spring will show as a weight. 